All right, guys, now that we have this mini PC all booted up and ready to go, let's talk about a couple benchmarks real quick. Now, we side test this PC in a handful of titles, those being Apex Legends, Forza Horizon 5, Halo 3 on the Master Chief Collection, and 3D Mark Fire Strike. First up in Apex Legends, we started out at 720p with this one, mainly because it actually defaulted to 720p for some reason, and we're running all low settings, and I was surprised to see an average of 70 to 80 FPS. 720p might not be the best resolution for this uh, little mini PC. Those Iris XE graphics actually could play games at 1080p. As you can see, when we bumped back up to 1080p on Apex Legends, we got about 50 to 60 FPS. But uh, I kind of underestimated how well these things actually perform. It does help that this thing comes with dual channel 16 gigs of memory that always helps with these APU systems and these graphics just seem to have improved since we've last taken a look at them. Now the drivers are still very wonky. Uh, when it comes to our capture card it's really hard for the capture card to actually detect this system. Uh, the screen goes black a lot, we get a lot of disconnects and another thing that happens and why we didn't test Fortnite is when you go full screen mode it doesn't actually let you accept the full screen mode. It just stays on a black screen and then defaults back to borderless so still some driver issues with these iris xe graphics but the performance is definitely there next up in forza horizon 5 at 1080p on low settings using the built-in benchmark we averaged 37 fps this is a game that if you did run at 720p i'd imagine you get very close to 60 fps but it is a very graphically demanding game the i7 in this system as far as cpu power goes is very awesome it's gonna be great for rendering and other cpu applications and in these games when you're running on really low settings you can really rely on the ipc of the cpu rather than the graphics and you can get some pretty decent numbers just like uh Apex Legends did at 720p low and how games like CSGO, Valorant, and Fortnite would if you did run those games on this PC. Now the next game we tested was Halo 3 in the Master Chief Collection. Very old game. We are running the um, higher res version that comes with the Master Chief Collection on PC and we get a lock 60 FPS. If you're using this thing for office work and want to play some older games on this side, you'll have no problems getting a 60 FPS experience. That is the main thing with these mini PCs. If you have the proper expectations for them, whether you're using it for game streaming or just some other purpose other than just gaming you'll be pleasantly surprised with the gaming that you can do on the side along with what it's already capable of and the last thing we decided to test with this pc was 3d mark fire strike let us know down below if you want to see us continue using fire strike throughout the benchmark run so you can compare with other pcs we built on the channel we ended up getting a score of 1805 points so overall, this mini PC impressed me. It performed very well. The build is really awesome, and Minis Forum is one of the leading companies when it comes to these mini PCs, and I always look forward to see what kind of mini PC they bring to the market, and I really do think Intel has something cool here with the Iris Pro graphics, and I hope that they reiterate on these with their new CPU lineup uh, coming to mobile soon. So yeah, check the link down below if you need to pick up this mini PC, but I think we should wrap this video up real quick. Let's bring Jackson back in.